Thank you, Tana Jen. So I think some people are sometimes confused about the difference between uh, Nibbana Datu, Nibbana Ta, and the, the knowing element. Are, are they the same thing or are they different? It is, it is the knowing element that has achieved Nibbana by purification, by getting rid of the three the defilements of greed, hate, and delusion through the practice of sila, samadhi, and panya. See, we all have the one, we all have this mind which called the, the knowing element. But for us, all we still have delusional element, uh, delusion in the this knowing element, which causes us to have greed and hatred, which causes us to go after things, which causes us to take rebirth, because of our greed, our cravings for things. But when someone like the Buddha, who through his own wisdom, discovered this truth, that the mind can be purified and can be happy, and doesn't have to take rebirth anymore. So this is what the, 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 the Buddha, when he was practicing, he had to find out by himself because no one in this, in this world know how to do it. So the, he purified his knowing element and he called this knowing element Nibbana. Okay, so Nibbana, Nibbana. The Nibbana element is the purified knowing element with no That's ignorance. Right. Yeah, no rebirth. It doesn't take any rebirth anymore in the three realms of existence or samsara. Mm -hmm. 